Hi angels, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing springtime. And today's video is gonna be spring hairstyles. We're gonna do eight of them, super easy, mini tutorials included. Let's get into it. Hi guys, so this one is a little messy braid down do. It is super cute, so I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Basically, you're going to want to section off parts of your hair. I have like bangs, that's why I have like smaller pieces in the front, and I'll just section them off. I have these really great clips I like to use, and then just to like get it out of the way. So basically, I'll just get any part of my hair, and the point of it is like kind of look like messy, like I didn't try, but I still look cute kind of vibe. So really don't try too hard with this braid, just braid it, pin it in the back, and it's going to be super, super easy, I promise you. So once you finish that side, you're just going to braid the other side like so, and literally I got a banana clip or a hair tie, yeah, ban banana clip for sure, and just clasp it literally like that, and it's so easy, you guys. Look how cute. Okay guys, for this one, it's super, super easy. It's just the same technique that you're gonna do for half up, half down. You're gonna section off the bottom of your hair and the top of your hair. Make sure you separate it all nice and clean. And then same thing with the other side. Make sure you get even length on both sides. And if you want a part, you can have a part. I have like this mid, um, middle kind of part that I like on my face shape. So I just do that. And literally, you're just going to get the hair tie and pretend like you're doing a fan bun at this point and just fix it and do all that to how you like it. Okay guys, this one's a bit more complicated than the rest. Basically, you're going to part down a side part or middle, really. I enjoy side part on my face shape, like I said. So basically, um, I just get two sections. They don't have to be too straight because you're going to have your hair out at the end. They don't have to be too perfect. I just went in and try to make it a little bit more straight. And just to get the hair out of my face, I go ahead and tie it. And basically, you're going to want to make a part within your sides going downwards, just like so. And then once you get that all clipped up, literally these clips are the best thing if you don't have them. Get one, they're like from Burlington or like Target literally for $2. And just to smooth out my hair, it's literally just like a twist kind of situation, you'll see. Oh, I need my rubber bands. Yes, these rubber bands are the best. So if you can't braid, um, which I am not a pro at, I do twists like this. And like get a hair tie and tie it and it would create these little sections and then I just go and do that on all four parts so it's gonna be so the one part we have there the second one right here and then two on the other side so you kind of get the gist so now that I'm on the other side you just want to tie it and tighten it but when you're done you can like tie it with one whole tie in the back if that makes sense if you don't like the way it sticks out but I'm telling you once you let out your hair you won't even be able to see it and there's gonna be two parts of this hairstyle so once I do my edges and all that, you can have your hair out or either pull it back into a ponytail and it's going to look so cute. So I hope you like this finished product, y'all.
Okay guys, so this one is super fun. It's my favorite like springtime hairstyle so far this season. And I go ahead and part my hair in the middle for this one. There's gonna be six parts in total and then you're just gonna wanna set section off the back of your hair and the front of your hair so you really don't have to deal with that. And it's just an easy concept you'll be able to pick up after I do the first couple. But basically, you're gonna make a part and I do like a diagonal part for my first one. The other two don't have to be diagonal. But try to get them away at your other hair so it's not too bad. But I just literally twist and tie. And then I'll just do that all around. Like, it's so easy. It's like insanely easy that I do it every day. And look how cute that is. Like, stop. And then just wait till I get all around. So now I'm on the other side, second part. I'm going to just show you this side because it literally is just a straight part. It's not diagonal like the top one. And you're just going to tie like so. So the other side's already done and it's so cute. But yeah, just make sure you don't get any other hairs in it because then it'll just like make your life so much harder. And I just go in with dry hair. You can do this also when your hair is wet. But I feel like I don't get as much volume that way. So I do this on like a day two of my hair when I'm completely just having... Um, over having my hair out or my bangs out, but yeah, I'm gonna just let that loose and this also transitioned to another hairstyle So you'll see that um, On my end little montage so stay tuned for that y'all this is my favorite hairstyle right now so basically i discovered this when i did this hairstyle and i was just like let me just see what it looked like if i did buns so basically it's the same idea as the last one as far as the sectioning of it but then you're just gonna make little tiny buns literally i also grab hair from the back as i emphasize by pulling it right there and to make it more full and you can't even really tell when I did that because they're literally just little messy space buns and then when you get the hair tie it can really shape the bun so don't worry about the shape as you're twisting it like you can play around with it with bobby pins or the rubber bands but yeah I grab hair from the back to really make it full because the little hair that I had doing the twist won't be enough to do the braids um depending also how big you want the buns this is like a mid-size I feel like it's a good shape for the hair and look how cute oh my god literally such a vibe I'm in love please try this hairstyle and if you try this hairstyle please tag me when trying this hairstyle because I want to see what this will look like on you okay enjoy the rest of this tutorial I'm sorry for talking so much Okay, as you guys saw, this is also a two-in-one hair hairstyle. I find it, like, so fun. Like, one day I'll just do this hairstyle, put a bonnet on, wake up, and then do, like, the minor changes. And it's like I have a whole new hairstyle. So a lot of my technique for these hairstyles are literally 
gonna be twisting if you ever see me braiding it's like gonna be very minimal because i find it so complicated but twisting is a lot easier so twist towards the back you can either twist over or under either one i like the way it over looks though because it gives a nice little like voluminous touch and again sectioning off the hair is key um drop a comment if you just saw the air edge brush fly across the screen but anyway twist across the top the parting literally this is why i love cool hair parting does not have to be super clean i swear if you have straight hair it's way more noticeable but curly hair you really can't so it's like um a little cornrow twist kind of vibe you know and just do that to the other side and you're good you can either have it as a ponytail or bun and i hope you guys enjoy this hairstyle and enjoy the rest of the tutorial I feel like this song matches the hairstyle perfectly. It gives boho fun. She's mysterious. She goes and reads coffee in a coffee shop when her hair looks like this. So yeah, basically it's a half up, half down. Super simple. Break it down. Um, you can. I like the little bumps for this because this is like a messy hippie vibe. So little bump, little bit of bumps is okay. Not too slick though, where it's like crazy but half up half down braid the front braid random pieces in your hair and you're literally good to go so just watch like this piece come together and if you really want to spice it up and tie in like all the vibes i get these i at the end you'll see but i put in these gold clips and you can get those on amazon for like a thousand for like five bucks so definitely a good investment and you can choose the size of the braids i like super mini braids so it's not too overwhelming on my face and i'm not annoyed with them all day so just like that and then the other side and it's so cute So guys, to finish off this video, it's my favorite hairstyle. The hairstyle I'm currently wearing while doing this voiceover. It's the messy bun with a scarf. And I'm so sorry if like you're like, oh my god, I don't have a scarf. Like I can't do this hairstyle. But it's literally like you get a, a white napkin. Okay, even though that might not look cute. Or like a bandana. Or if you have a scarf, it, it would be perfect. So yeah, you just want to like grab loose pieces out of your hair. Like... It can be completely random and super messy just like the more defined pieces because this is like not my day one hair so my hair is already pretty raggedy so whatever looks like the nicest pieces pick them out 
and then go ahead and tie your bun super easy at first i was going to do a ponytail but then my hair looks so dead i was like definitely not so just give me a second to realize that i look crazy wow do you see that yeah no and then i go ahead and just tie the um front like so it's so easy like yeah if you guys want a tutorial because i feel like i didn't really show how to tie that scarf you kind of just put into a triangle roll it till it's really thin and then tie it like a bow i'm sorry if i that was too much but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and pull like the strap over so i get a loose messy bun and yeah there you go it's literally my favorite clean up any pieces with a little bit of leave-in spray i hope you guys enjoy this video and yeah guys I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys like the hairstyles that I showed you guys. Comment down below what your favorite hairstyle was. And we're gonna get into this angel shout out really quick. So today's angel shout out goes to Dammy World 4. She's been literally all over all my platforms, literally YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. I see you girl. So um, remember an angel shout out includes I follow you back or just follow you and shout you out on my story and shout out here so if you guys want to be the next angel shout out just be active on my feed on my page and you'll be the next angel shout out but yeah you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like comment and subscribe to my youtube follow me on instagram and tiktok okay love you